Come on in. Come on in, you guys. I hope y'all are having an amazing day today. Meat loaf is what's on the menu. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Subscribe for the deliciousness. Let's get into it. Take off. To get started, we can go to the ingredients, the ground beef. I'll be using a half a green bell pepper and red bell pepper. One onion dice, Worcestershire sauce, sweet chili sauce, some garlic, tablespoon of tomato paste, and the beefy onion lifting soup mix. Two eggs and a half a cup of breadcrumbs. And I'll show y'all how to put it all I'm together. Add some oil to my skillet, some olive oil. And now I'm just going to add in all my onions and my bell peppers. And I'm going to let this saute. I'm going to season this up with a little bit of my all-purpose seasoning. You can get that at aprilsjazzyspice.com. I have a link below in the description box. I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of thyme. Now, if you have fresh, you can go ahead and use the fresh thyme. And just give that a mix and mix that in. And continue to let this cook. After about five minutes, you want to go in and go ahead and add in your garlic. I used about a tablespoon or two of minced garlic. Get out a mix. Okay, our veggies are nice and tender. I'm going to go ahead and go in with about two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, tablespoon of tomato paste, and a tablespoon of the sweet chili. And you just want to get us a nice mix. See, everything is nice and combined. Cook out that tomato paste some. Now we can go ahead and season up our ground beef. And I'll be using one package of the beefy Lipton onion soup mix. I'll be going in with my all-purpose seasoning. Use whatever kind of seasoning you prefer in yours. Salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. I have two eggs that I've already beaten. Just want to mix that in. And a half a cup of breadcrumbs. We're going to add in our onions and bell peppers and garlic. So now that we have everything in, you want to come on in and get us a mix. You don't want to overwork this. Just go ahead and get everything in. Fold everything over. If you overwork it, it makes your meatloaf tough. So just get everything in, fold it over. Make sure you're getting everything, all the veggies incorporated. The egg, make sure you're getting that incorporated, folding everything in. So I have this in my baking dish. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to form this into a loaf. As for our topping for our meatloaf, I'll be going in with a cup of ketchup and a one-fourth cup of the sweet chili sauce. You want to get that a mix. And I'll be adding in a splash or two of Worcestershire sauce. And you can always taste this and adjust the flavors as needed, y'all. Season to your liking. I'm going to cover this with aluminum foil to help it stay moist. I'm going to go ahead and bake this off in the 350 degree oven. Our meatloaf's been cooking now for about an hour. And what I'm going to go in and do is drain off of this oil that's accumulated on the sides. And then I'll add the ketchup portion on top of it. Now we can go in with our ketchup mixture. I'm just gonna put some over the top and smooth it over. Here it is with the sauce on it. I like a lot of sauce, but y'all adjust that to your liking, how you like your meatloaf. Now we're gonna place this back in the oven and let this finish cooking. Mm -hmm. Depending on the size of your meatloaf, you wanna put your sauce on the last 30 minutes before your meatloaf is done. It's going to vary with the cooking time due to the size of your meatloaf. So just keep that in mind as you're cooking your meatloaf. And here it is, you guys, fresh out the oven. It's smelling good, looking good. It's about to go down. 
Now, like I said, your meatloaf cooking time is going to depend on the size of your actual meatloaf. Mine is on the bigger side, so it took an hour and 30 to get mine done. So just keep that in mind as you're cooking your meatloaf. Now, what you want to do is you want to let this rest now before you cut off into it. You want to let the juices go back throughout your meat so it can set properly. And here's our meatloaf, you guys. Y'all know I couldn't leave without giving y'all that first bite. Let's break off into it. Get you some. Take a bite. It's smelling good, and of course, you know it tastes good. Look at that. Look how moist. Get you another bite. We have some mac and cheese and some green beans to go along with it today. I want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to thumbs up the video. Subscribe for the deliciousness. Y'all know the vibe. Be blessed.